Matt, I, I, want, I want to show this to you. You're a parent, right? Okay? It's perfectly normal for 10 years and up. Here's just one page I want you to see here. So turn it up, huh? It's, it's unspeakable what these people have done to our children. When, when did that start? When was it decided that we need to start teaching kids about this stuff at such a young age? So I'll answer that with one word, Kinsey. Kinsey was a social reformer. He wanted to rid society of Judeo-Christian values when it came to sexuality. And he worked very hard to do that, and I would say he succeeded. Kinsey would be very happy with our culture today. His idea was that children are sexual from birth that we're all inherently sexual creatures from cradle to grave. He believed that true happiness is found in a life of perverse sexual experimentation, no matter the age. What came out is that his research was fraudulent. Kinsey based his fraudulent conclusions on data he collected from convicted sex offenders and child molesters. His research was conducted in prisons, not everyday America. He also performed horrific sexual experiments on children, some under the age of one. His most influential book, Sexual Behavior in the Human Male, contains an infamous chart called Table 34, which documents the orgasms of very young kids, including babies as young as five months old. But instead of suffering the consequences for his heinous actions, he was and still is celebrated by academia and Hollywood. His ideas form the foundation for sexual education in public schools today. How do we get from this to you can choose your own gender? Okay, well now we have another and very important character, and his name was John Money. John Money was a psychologist and professor at Johns Hopkins University. Gender ideology was his brainchild. In fact, he coined the terms gender identity and gender roles. And according to Money, babies are gender neutral at birth, and ultimately environment determines whether a person is a man or a woman. Money was telling the world about his theory that a boy could be raised as a girl, and do just fine, and vice versa. And so Money tried out his theory on two young twin boys, the Reimer twins. When the twins were eight months old, and they went to be circumcised, the first twin, whose name was Bruce, um, something went wrong with the machinery, and his penis was burnt off. They stopped and did do a second circumcision on the other twin, as you might imagine. And the parents, of course, didn't know what to do. How are they going to raise this child? John Money convinced Bruce's parents to transition him into a girl. Money also conducted sexually abusive experiments on the twins throughout their childhood, including forcing them to simulate sex acts on each other. He reported up to the age of 10 that this was a complete success. Well, it wasn't true. The results were a disaster. Bruce could never fully accept his female identity. Eventually, his parents told him the truth, and he chose to transition back to a boy, taking the name David. As an adult, David spoke out about the abuse and the damage done to him by John Money. The girls would do their things with their Barbies and things like that, and that wouldn't interest me. Mm -hmm. And uh, things such as trucks and uh, building forts and uh, you know, getting to the odd uh, fist fight and mm -hmm. climbing trees, that's the kind of stuff that I like, but it was unacceptable, so I've never... As a girl. As, as a girl, I had no place to, to fit in. The trauma that he and his brother and his entire family went through left deep scars. His brother died of an overdose uh, when he was 38, and then David died, committed suicide. There was never a retraction or an apology from John Money. Instead, his ideas were adopted by mainstream psychology, and they formed the basis of gender ideology today. Why don't more people know about John Money and Alfred Kinsey? Evidently, there are forces that don't want this information out. 